Ladies and gentlemen, I am Kagekaze, and I am playing Smite once again, uh, looking at another of the new gods coming out, or that are, is out, not coming out, I'm behind the times, not ahead of the times, jeez. Anyway, looking at Thanatos, uh, I'm going to play him a little bit, see how I do. Honestly, I really love the design of this god, like how he looks, like having a death god with a scythe, what can I say? Uh, so can, taking a quick look at him before I get into a game, uh, we've got Harvester of Souls, enemy gods within your ultimate execute range, so it's a pretty decent AoE uh, range nearby. Uh, you're, they're always revealed to you. Uh, dealing, killing, uh, dealing the killing blows wow, to enemies will empower Thanatos, heals him based on the maximum hit points of the target that he's killed, and all of the abilities cost health as mana. Uh, as well as mana to use. Uh, so your basic attacks uh, have a three swing chain as well and there's an AoE on the final blow. So you lose hit points as you use skills, so that's what makes him kind of interesting and can make him a little bit difficult to play. Uh, so he's an interesting guy. What I like about him is his ultimate in that you have hovering death. Basically you have a threshold of enemy health that you can instantly kill starting at 24% going all the way up to 40%. If you land this ultimate you will just basically be taking the enemy god out right away. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab Thanatos here real quick and we'll go over some of the other abilities uh, real fast. So we'll take a look. We've got Death Scythe, which is basically a, a line attack ability. You fling your scythe at an enemy, it does an additional 10% of the target's maximum health. So you do have uh, this hit point based uh, damage dealing. So Thanatos can actually be very decent against tanks, enemies with a lot of health. Uh, enemies that are hit are slowed for three seconds, and you basically heal yourself based on the damage you do. You lose 5% of your health, though, when you use it. Uh, as you can see, it goes up pretty high to 380 plus 60% of physical, and, of course, you kill a god and you get 10% of uh, your maximum HP. Healing 50% back as well, so, or, or sorry, 10% is what you da the damage you do, and, of course, you get a little bit of healing back. So, Scent of Death, uh, Scent of Soul Senses Death... Um, senses death, gaining immunity to slow effects. Your movement speed and physical penetration are increased by six, for six seconds. Uh, speed bonuses up to double when you're moving towards a god that's within your instant kill th threshold. So if you're going towards a god, you go even faster. So you get damage penetration, you get movement speed, which is kind of nice. Uh, let's see. It's like Freya said. Uh, uh, well, never mind. That uh, gives me a chance to go over some more of the abilities, I guess. So, Conquest is coming back up. Uh, let's just go back over to the gods. Yeah, come on, pick the right thing, will you? Alright, so basically you've got a self buff. You move faster, uh, you move even faster when going towards a target. Uh, you will see a little icon on an enemy god when you when you can kill them, so you'll always know when you have the ability to kill them with your ultimate. Soul Reap is kind of a conal ability. You swing your scythe, it does physical damage, it slices, uh, of course it silences enemies that you hit, and it, you move at a reduced rate while swinging it. So it, it's a pretty quick ability though, it's just really quick, so it just means that if you're chasing somebody, you probably don't want to chase too much with Soul Reap if they're very, if like on their very edge of your damage. You'll want to probably hit them with Death Scythe first since Death Scythe slows. So that you can Death Scythe, close the gap, and then Soul Reap since you're going to be a little bit slower. And Soul Reap, uh, since it silences, can be very useful for not only doing damage, but stopping an enemy god with an ability that happens over time, like, uh, let's say, Bacchus and his stun. So that can be quite nice. So he's got some pretty decent abilities. Everything costs health to use. Again, that makes him kind of interesting. I, I would probably want to have him with some life-stealing abilities. Or life-stealing items. Thanatos. So let's go ahead and grab him. Not too bad. A, and a jungling Anubis. Okay. It can happen. I will take whatever's left over. I just really, I'm going to look at this guy. I love him. The, the, the design of him is really cool. The dark armor, the quad wings. They did a really good job on this guy, I think. Not that they haven't done a good job on uh, 
on other gods, but uh, this looks really nice. Just kind of hoping to get some kind of god with a scythe. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let it auto-level my skills for me since I haven't really played him before. I don't know him very well. I'm tempted to put the auto-level items on as well. Just because there are a lot of items out there that have been added. What I will probably do... No, I won't do that. I'll use the recommended tab instead. And uh, that way I don't get stuck with some items I don't want. Uh, kind of interesting. So they've got him with Quinn's. He's already got an ability that does health-based damage. So it looks like he's kind of the... He's another tank assassin, really. I mean, so you've got Quinn's. You've got Hydra's Limit, which allows you to do additional damage all at once. Life-stealing on Devourer's Glove. That makes sense. So more than likely, I will follow through with some of those. I might pick one of the new uh, healing items, though, that they have added in one of the recent patches. They've added, like, two, I think, additional physical uh, life-stealing items. So either one of those could work out fairly well. Give Thanatos a go. At the very least, I'm hoping to get a couple kills with his ultimate, just because the enemy really can't get away from it. If you don't kill... With the ultimate, you stun. You at least do a little bit of damage and stun. Uh, but because they, it, once the ultimate is at maximum level, you can kill enemies that are below 40% health. I mean, that's just, it's almost ridiculous, you would think, but it's also got a fairly lengthy cooldown. You know, it is his ultimate after all. And they can juke it. So, looks like it's going to start me off with Soul Reap. If we look at the damage, Death Scythe does more damage, up to 380, plus it has the 10% on it. But I can understand why you would want to level up Soul Reap first. Since Death Scythe has a 10% scaler when it comes to ma enemy's health, it means that this ability is going to do a decent amount of damage no matter what level it's at. So I should level up the one that's not going to do as much damage first. Plus it gives me a longer silence duration, so that's pretty nice. All right, let's kind of take a look at the recommended tab. Uh, real quick, I want to look at the lifesteal, kind of show something like Blood Forge here, physical power, physical lifesteal, and successful attacks increase your physical power and lifesteal is just one of the items. The Aussie is physical lifesteal, attack speed, and penetration, plus you gain more uh, lifesteal when you're low on health, which is uh, essentially like Kali's ability. So I'm going to get Death Toll. I'll go ahead and get a Tabi, and uh, I'm going to grab a couple health potions. All right, let's go. I like this guy. He just kind of hovers, which is odd that he doesn't even use his wings. I love these new uh, ground targeters, by the way, too. I mean, and, uh, I think every god has them now. So you can see the scythe. Here's this combo. One, two, and then the third hit is an AoE. One, two, and AoE. Very nice. Kind of surprised he doesn't flap his wings more. I'm going to be honest, I don't quite understand this meta. Oh yeah, jumping. They added jumping. Why did they add jumping? That makes no sense to me. Very honest. No sense. It, it serves no practical purpose. And the sad part is I think that's why they added it. It looks like I'm going left with Odin. Okay, ooh, he is flapping his wings. And then he stops. Let's go right back to hovering. I don't know. Alright, so I am a physical assassin. No enemy in left. So I have to be careful about using my abilities to clear lane since I do since I take damage every time I use an ability. And I don't believe it gives me life back unless I hit a god. So, like, really quick, I'm going to go ahead and use it. Okay, yep, I do gain life back. So, it gives me my Death Scythe. That's one thing I'm not... I'm not 100% on his mechanic, so I'm not going to... Oh, boy. Come on. Damn. Not much I could do there.
Now what you may have noticed there is there's also there is a little heartbeat happening kind of in the background. That's to let you know that there is an enemy that is at the death threshold. Ah, Cupid got me. And that Vulcan, I got pushed back. That's kind of annoying. I'm dealing with some fairly decent enemy teams. This is not the first match I've had tonight. And both of them have been turning out to be fairly bad for me. Just because the enemy team is pretty decent. And it's been kind of hard for me to get it back with, you know, a little bit of rust on me here. And these guys are pushing pretty good. Vulcan Cupid pushing pretty decently. Unfortunately, Odin Thanatos not exactly the best combination, especially since we're both melee. Alright, let's go ahead and try and clear out some of this line here. Ah, man. Let's go ahead and heal myself up. Alright, there's an ultimate. Damn it. They're gonna just push on me. He used his ultimate, thankfully, so he doesn't have that anymore. Let's go ahead and sw swing back real fast. I don't want to risk this. Just don't have enough money yet, and I'm not gonna get enough money if I can't kill Creep and I keep getting pushed back. Between Vulcan's zone denial and Cupid's range, we're not able to do too much here. I mean, it's quite honestly, um, it would be better maybe if On Her was over here and Odin was on the other side. Uh, that might be better. Something, just something to offset it. The enemy's range comp is very difficult to deal with right now. Thankfully, Anubis came over to help out. Now, does this hit more than one enemy? Nope. So that's what I wanted to confirm because I had a feeling uh, that's what I was noticing is uh, apparently the Death Scythe ability only hits the first target. It doesn't hit anything in a line. Everything in the line. Which I suppose makes sense since it does have the uh, hit point stipulation on it since it does take 10% of maximum hit points. Whoops. Go ahead and pull back. That is movement speed, right? Yep, I get movement speed for my two, so I have to remember that. So I do gain some life back every time I kill regular minions. So I can use a, f a bit of my abilities. If I know it's going to kill them, because it's going to give me my life back. So you can see there, there's the souls coming back to me. Someone's low on life, but I don't have... Oh, I do have my ultimate. I'll have to keep that in mind. Alright, Cupid's back. Vulcan's back. Alright, let's go ahead and hit the minion line. Cannon is annoying. Okay, I'll avoid him. Not able to do too much here, so Owen's gonna have to pull back a bit. Ah, he hit me with the backdraft, so let's go ahead and pull back. I can't even get close to really do any da decent damage, is the thing that really sucks. We're going to need some help over here, I think. Back. I couldn't stop it. I could not I could not save him. We're just getting tower dived at this point. Okay, I've got him low. There we go. So I was able to take out Cupid by getting him low on life, and then I popped my ultimate to uh, 
just get the execution range. So he was within the, what is the level 1 execution range? Uh, 24%. So he was low. I swooped in for the kill. All right, looks like Vulcan is taking on Odin. We should be able to help him out here. All right. Get my movement and attack speed up. Take him out. Decent come back there. So let me go back and get some items. Be right back. So what should I get? Should I get penetration or should I get cooldown reduction? Cooldown reduction is also like quite nice. I'm looking at 90 second cooldown there, 15, 13, 13. So his cooldowns aren't too bad. But because he's a god that basically kills instantly and he does uh, damage based on a percentile, I think what I want to do is I want to give him the cooldown reduction rather than the penetration. So I'm going to go with that. Let's see how that works out for me. So under recommended, what will be next? Uh, Devourers? Yeah, I, I can't argue with that. Get a little bit of life steal, since, uh, and that'll allow me to use my abilities a bit more often, a little more freely. Ooh, Odin got taken out. Not sure how he got taken out either. It's looking like the uh, Vulcan over here is not even hurting. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, Anubis taking on Vulcan. That's it. Using my ultimate to catch up to him. He's not getting away. Either I kill him with a basic ability or I'm going to use my ult. I've got a natural, when you think about it, even though I only get it when I kill, I do have kind of this natural, wonderful regenerative ability... Uh, when it comes to just reaping souls. And I do love that whole thing, that it actually reaps souls. It could just give me the health back without showing a uh, physical indicator, but I love the fact that there is actually an indicator in the souls actually flying into me. So I'm at level 2 now. I can kill enemy gods at 28%, so they'll have to be careful, because if there's any enemy gods that are low on life, I might go and swoop in on them somewhere else on the map. I am an assassin. That's what I do, swoop in. Now Cupid was pretty smart. He saw that I was going for him with the uh, with the ultimate and he just juked as much as he could and it just wasn't enough. Uh oh. Ah, I hate that they changed that. My sp I'm not used to spacebar being not being the uh, mouse thing. I'm going to have to rebind that. I really don't care about a jump button. As much as it's nice to have, I'm just so used to spacebar being an being the uh, cursor for me now. Alright, let's pull back a bit. Oh, I missed. Alright. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What the hell happened? Alright, let me increase my movement speed so I can get away. Damn it. I'm gonna move movement speed, get it up there, I'm gonna try and slow him down. Oh, you know what? Ultimate time. He deserved that. He so deserved that. Oh, we can't have two of us returning. So I can hear the heartbeat. Someone was low. But unfortunately... An ally has been slain. I don't have my ultimate up, so I can't do anything about it. Cupid is kind of low, so let's just kind of speed myself up, see if I can get up behind him. Uh-oh, I missed, of course. Nah. If I wouldn't have missed the slow, I might have been a bit better off on that one. Alright.
Wow, they just came up behind us. They either have good communication or that was just wonderful fluke on their part. Our team is not um, working together quite too well. Yikes. Uh, well, that's okay. It's okay. We're doing all right. We're ahead by one kill. We are down a tower. No, wait. No, we're not. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. No, we're ahead. Even in farm. So we're not. We're missing some communications, but overall, people doing good. I'm glad to see that. Me, I'm a winged angel of death. I can't wait to kill the next enemy with my ultimate. Oh, oh. I hear it. I hear the heartbeat. Oh, went away. Mmm, Frostmourne hungers. <sighs> Alright, left hand side. They are pushing on the tower. We have got to do something about that. Okay, Vulcan is retreating. That leaves Cupid over here. I am so tired of that damn cannon. You have no idea. I think not. No. I think not. You can enemy death. Could really use some help over here, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying. There we go. Some health, some stacks. Say goodbye to that. Ooh, Kronos. And he's down. Ah! You little bastard! <laughs> Oh well. I got some okay lifesteal now. And combined with the life I get back on minion death is uh, decent. Decent. Not bad. I like him. I mean, he's he's unique. He uh, takes a little bit of getting used to. You can't. Uh... Nice job. Good job. Pull back a bit. Excuse me, Freya? Back off. He's fairly mana efficient. Or so it fails. I haven't really had to worry about mana. Alright, I've got enough money that I'm going to be right back. head back out. Uh, what's under-recommended? What, what else? Quinn's Deathbringer? You know, Deathbringer's not bad, uh, but I wonder... Do I want to get a more lifesteal, or do I want to go ahead and go down that route? Quinn's is great for the maximum health, but uh, Deathbringer is obviously very good for the burst damage. I like doing early Deathbringer, quite honestly. I'm going to go ahead and go into that. Uh, beyond that... I wonder if I want to do Creeping Curse or Sprint, because I like being able to catch up. I have a natural buff for movement speed, and that's going to start getting leveled here, so maybe Sprint wouldn't be a good idea. Girdle could be good. I could buff the allies around me, because if they get them low enough, I can finish them off. Let's go with the Girdle. Come up and help Odin. Doing pretty good still. 35, 32 to, on the uh, on the farm. 15 to 10 on kills. The enemy team is uh, starting to push up a bit though here. So let's. Uh, oh, look at that life steal. Look at that life steal. It's beautiful. I'm gonna go in and I'm just gonna reap the souls of my enemies. Look at that. Just look at that. I have all my health, practically all my health back. You now we're pushing back now. 
They're level 13, I'm 14. I can totally make this happen. Let's just go in there, do a bit of damage. Odin playing it a little risky. Back off. Oh, what happened to the lag there? Like, I lost track of what was going on for a second there. Ah, oh, jeez. Kali did a little bit of damage to her, but I need to watch out. All right. Yeah, I got tower dive by three people. That sucks. Oh, we were going to need, um, need help on that one. Too many people at once. Wasn't able to do much. But not bad. I'm ahead of the game. Anubis is really kicking some butt there with 9-1. It's Anubis for you. Good job. All right. Let's see what he's doing, as a matter of fact. Anubis running from the right-hand jungle. Uh, looks like he's debating on taking out some Furies. Maybe he wanted to for a snack. Couldn't decide if he wanted chicken wings or not. Looks like he's decided to move on. And he wants to feast on some God of Time. And maybe not. Uh, so Kronos sitting there attacking him in the middle. But Anubis decides to pull back. Looks like our entire team is going to push on to the middle. Uh, I've got the heartbeat. Someone is really close to death, but I'm a bit too far away to really take advantage of that. So let's move in. There's two people really close to death. I could easily get one of two kills here, if possibly both. Um, Kronos, really low on life, but he's returning back to base. So unable to capitalize on that. So let's go ahead and come up here. Let's just go ahead and... Kill these. Kill the minions. I've got 40 stacks on my gloves, so I'm feeling good there. Just creep. Okay, here comes a Freya. Thought she was going to come, so I was trying to be preemptive there. Looks like we're going to try and surround her. Yeah, she's not getting away. Oh! Nice! Killed her with the Death Scythe. Alright, let's go. Chasing down Kronos. I'll go ahead and move away. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and keep running. Kronos wasn't able to really hit me very much. I'm going to go ahead and reap some souls. I'll invite him into my tower. Kronos is now nearly dead. Aw, the team got him. It's a good thing they did. Don't get me wrong. Just kind of hate to have the cooldown on the ultimate. Alright, so with that said, let's uh, see. I've got a little bit to go on the Deathbringer. I could, of course, finish Girdle of Might, which is kind of nice to uh, to have there. Um, that might be a better idea, honestly. Uh, let's see. Ally Gods, the owner. So I want the Allied Gods one, because I think that's really going to be more beneficial. Them doing the damage. Because if my ult's up, I can always capitalize on it. All right, someone is hurting. I feel the faint heartbeat of a smoker. Yes, his lungs are corroded with tar. An ally has uh, been slain. I don't know. I think smoking an would be the leading cause of death in a god. So wow. I didn't think that would kill her like that. Uh, just, wow. All right, let's see if we can't uh, make this out. Oh, no. I can't move in on that. See if we can't reap Kali here. Oh yeah, I'm so reaping that Kali. Oh damn it, someone... Oh well. I gotta get out of here. Oh my god, I can't believe that. I can't believe she got away with that. She should not have been able to get away with that. Oh, she lucked out twice. 
I was going to totally kill her, and then she went above the threshold. Oh, yeah, well. Not doing too bad. Not doing too bad. I am still ahead. I'm actually doing better than that Kali. Not in farm, but in uh, overall KDR assist. All right, what do we got here? Uh, stun ball into the minions, uh, right into the wing gust. Anubis deciding to smack them around with his uh, old man cane, old dog cane. Yeah, so we go picking up some damage buff on her, getting chased in the middle on her, about to die. Three bars left. Looks like a whole bunch of stuns going on. Uh, we had Kronos, we had Freya. Yeah, that was just not a good time for on her. All right, so we've got no one in mid right now, and we've got three enemies pushing on it. We really need to push on these guys and just get them out of there. If we can... There we go. Chrono's going down. Let's go ahead and move in, see if we can't uh, do something against this Freya. No, the enemy creep line has appeared, so let's... All right, we got three of them here, so I can't push recklessly. Let's go ahead and get out of that. A little bit of damage to Cupid. There we go. Got Kali down. Let's go ahead and push up on this Vulcan. Ah, pull back a little bit. That damn cannon's doing a bunch of damage. There's Kali pushing on another god in our tower again. And once again, I'm taken out in my tower. This time by Vulcan. This is getting kind of annoying. <sighs> I probably shouldn't have pushed on Vulcan. Just the, the way he's able to do area of effect damage and hit you from behind and the front at the same time. Uh, him being a tank as well. Uh, what I'm probably going to have to do is start going into uh, some of my stuff to ant for anti-tank. We'll have to see. Uh, Vulcan, definitely getting annoying. Okay. Oh, but we'll make him pay. It'll happen. Uh, my ultimate is off cooldown, so the next time it's got an ability to proc, I will try and take someone out with it. Uh, let's see. What's going on? Odin? Kind of chilling, sitting in the forest. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. New is on out of the base. On her in the middle lane. Uh, not too much else uh, going on here. It looks like Isis pushing on some Furies. You know those deadly Furies. They'll take on our Minotaur if we don't keep them under check. That's right. I fear for those Furies. They will more than likely revolt one day because, you know, I don't trust anything that just sits there, kind of flaps its wings and stares. Especially not in a combat zone. No, no. I definitely do not trust the Furies. Alright, so... Here comes Kali out of nowhere. Uh, let's just kind of group up everybody. We've got, every, uh, got the enemy team here. Enemy Kronos dead. Very good. So it's three on... or sorry... Four on five now. Out of okay. Come to me. Just need someone to get low on health. If we can just push up and do some decent damage to someone. Someone, anyone. I don't even care who. I'll get you my pretty and your little dog, too. Well, I don't have a Fenrir, so I guess maybe I won't get the dog. Ah. They didn't push. I wasted a girdle. I was expecting some kind of grand push. It just didn't happen. some kind of initiation. I'm not really the initiator. I'm kind of the clean, the cleanser. The cleaner! The closer! You cannot escape death. Hello, Colleen. Alright, there. Get a little bit of damage to Colleen. Very nice. Let's go into the air. Cupid's going out. that out there, get a slow on Vulcan, bit of damage. Alright, my team wasn't following suit with that one. Good job, good job. Another enemy is really weak, I just do not have the ultimate to go hit him. 
Ack. Chrono's so fast. So fast. I cannot keep up with him. I am unable to resist. Ah, Kronos, you have decided to come into the middle lane. This will be your undoing. Unless he can just run away. Jeez. There we go. Stunned against the wall by on her. Good job. Freaking on her, man. I need a thousand. I'm close. Let's kill a fury pack, shall we? Good, doing good. All right. Let's see. Where is the? What's the state of the battlefield? I don't see any enemies. I saw a little bit on the left. Uh, looks like ISIS is pushing through the jungle on the right. The right hand side. Both left and right hand sides have been pushed back a bit, but not close to the towers yet. Not close enough. Oh jeez. They just took out the gold fury. That sucks. So did they catch up on farm? Yes, they just barely caught up. We are still slightly ahead, but only just. All right, doing a little bit of damage to Kali there. Let's go ahead and activate my speed buff to catch up with her. If I can get her into the threshold... Come on. Damn it. Hopefully they're able to capitalize on that. Yes, Isis able to capitalize on Kali's low health. Vulcan doing a bunch of damage with his cannon to Isis and Anubis. Anubis going out through Vulcan. Isis trying to follow up on Vulcan. He is really high on health, though, which you need to do. There we go. Blink right onto the Freya. Oh, miss with a stun ball. That would have been a perfect kill if she would have gotten it. Using her wing gust to catch up. Able to kill Freya. Excellent. A little bit low on health, down to under half. Vulcan doing really well with his high health. Able to really do some lane denial here. They got a pretty good Vulcan on our hands here. Having to deal with him is basically keeping us out. Doing quite a bit of damage as well. Let's kind of take a look at how that Vulcan is actually building. Looks like he is going magical. Uh, so he does have a little bit of defense with the Greaves, a little bit with the Sovereignty. Uh, picking up, though, Voidstone and, of course, Rod of Tahuti. So he's kind of building more Bruiser than Tank. Uh, he is not building anything anti-physical other than, well, he's got Sovereignty, actually. So there, there is that. Uh, so let's do this. Uh, should I go ahead and sell Death's Toll for a recommended item? And what recommended item should I grab? I could grab Quinn's. Uh, that enhances on my already uh, percentage base number one. This is a maximum health. And that's not too bad because I want to get them down to a threshold of health and that pretty much helps me with that threshold. I'm not really too concerned about doing a huge amount of damage at once. So I think I will go ahead and start working on Quinn's. Let's just go ahead. We're going to go ahead and sell the Death Toll. We're going to work on level one Quinn's and uh, let's go ahead and get back out there into the battlefield. Quinn's giving us, well, we got physical power and some health, so I'll have a little bit of uh, health to deal with. I have some physical power, which is quite nice. Uh, anything else on it? Ah, uh, yes, attack speed, which uh, doesn't happen at level 1, but I will have a bit faster attack speed, which is great. That'll work with my self buff. I've already got 1.4 attacks on natural. Alright, looks like we are pushing... Are we all pushing? Kind of don't have a unified front here, so I'm not entirely sure what's going on. The entire enemy team is up, which means they're probably at the fire giant at this point. Oh, oh there's Kali behind. Getting pushed on in the middle here. Yep, they're all coming to the middle. Cupid about to die. Yeah, I think they're going to get him without my intervention. Okay, we got a pretty big team fight going on over here. Ah, dang it. I'm getting cut off. Enemy Freya really low on health. Has 
been slain. Bear your souls to me. Oh man, I just barely missed that. But I was able to take her out. Not entirely sure if that was worth it. Enemy Kali, really low on health. You can kind of see her there getting that. Let's go ahead and use my Scent of Death because I can really chase her down with that. Oh, jeez. She got a ton of health back. I didn't think she would get that much health back with me being the only target. Quite honestly, I'm very surprised Kali was able to take me out like that. Hmm. Let's take a look at their Kali. Pretty much close to being finished, so that pretty much explains it. She probably has Heartseeker built up, too. So, she's using Blood Forge. That's understandable with her fast attack speed. Getting some uh, additional damage. Lifesteal. Need to really take her out. No oh, enemy going after the Fire Giant. Had a feeling that was coming. Uh, looks like Odin was able to kind of push them back on it a bit, but uh, the enemy Vulcan's cannon is still working on it. Kali is going to probably try and solo it. Odin is by himself over there. He needs to get some help. Anubis is trying to get there. The other two are kind of back at base. Between Kali and that cannon, it looks like they might be able to get uh, that giant. Nope, looks like Kali left the giant. The cannon was destroyed. Anubis trying to take out Kali, but taking tons of damage from her ultimate. Unfortunately, it was not enough to make that happen, it looks like. No, Kali did go down. Excellent. Uh, our team pushing in on the right. We have denied them the fire giant. Odin is retreating. He's way too low on health. Definitely needs to get out of there. So I am pushing in. Uh, we have Vulcan and Kronos. And unfortunately, our on her was taken out. All right, well... Go ahead and take out these instruments of mass destruction. All right, Vulcan. You may attack quickly, but you certainly don't hit worth a damn. The stun was your only saving grace. Oh, man. I unfortunately think that maybe Kronos has a bit too much going for him. <laughs> Oh man, the ability to revert damage, the ability to move super quick, attack super quick, and doing a ton of damage. I don't know. I question it sometimes. No oh, man, Odin's just gotten surrounded. We need to really push together. We're still ahead. Except for on farm. That's the one thing we were behind on. And unfortunately, that's the thing that will ultimately kill us if we're not careful. Alright, so as far as items, uh, Quinn's. Almost there. Get my attack speed up once I do. Left hand side being pushed by the entire team. Looks like uh, Vulcan's trying to come up from behind. Uh, Isis low on health at about 25%. Vulcan pulling out, losing about a quarter of his health from Anubis, popping his ultimate with his thumper there. I've not been able to get anybody recently with the ultimate. I'm really hoping we can get somebody low on that threshold. So we definitely need to move together. Moving alone is suicide because they are definitely they are roaming quite a bit. And it's something we have to be mindful of. I will help Isis with the mana. So do we have a fire giant? We do. No one is here to claim it. They have two gods down, but. Uh-oh. We're pushing on Kali, Anubis, doing what he can against her. And just like that, she's down. <laughs> By the time I hear the heartbeat, she's dead. So, which is good. Ah, oh, bloody hell. Whoa! Did that Chrono seriously just take me from half health to dead? Or did he have health? I guess he had a little bit of health, but I seriously drew... That health went down in an instant. 
ridiculous. Go, good job, Odin taking out Freya, but Odin dying in the process. Isis uh, having to fight Kronos and Cupid and Vulcan. Nice stun ball on Kronos and Vulcan, but honestly, staying in that fight is not a good idea, especially with that stun by Kronos. And that's a deicide. That is... Uh, most definitely bad. Uh, Isis staying to fight was not a good idea. Getting a DSI, they are going to have time to take out the Fire Giant. There's uh, 15 seconds left on the first respawn, and that's going to be me. Not much I'm going to be able to do by myself. Uh, man, that, that really set us back. That There goes the Fire Giant. That's going to give them a really nice buff. We're going to have to make sure they die and take it out. At least Freya didn't get the Fire Giant buff, so that's one good thing about that, but it uh, looks like they're not capitalizing really on this. We've got five seconds until the next god comes up. They are waiting in front of the tower, at least this Kronos is. We have a decent amount of damage on that Kronos. As long as he doesn't rewind in eight seconds, that will be damage that he won't be able to revert. Yep, they are pushing. I can't do this alone. Did that Kronos get all his health back already? This Vulcan is highly annoying. He's just able to do so much damage to me. I may need some magical protections or something, because he I just can't deal with him. Ah, man, getting split up like that. Oh man, Anubis just barely taking out Kronos. Cupid in the left hand lane is kinda hurt. If someone can get him a little bit lower, nice job. we can try and pounce on him. Looks like he left. Alright, so we don't have much to worry about over there. Alright. We really need to get a tower pushed, I think. Hey, I hit level 20, finally. I now have a threshold of 40%, so I can use that a lot sooner. I think we just need to split push or something. Everybody's moving together, that's great, but we just don't have the towers anymore. We're behind on towers now. So fortunately this tower has a lot of health, and I'm not so sure what I can do against Cupid. He'll just kind of keep me at bay. enemies coming. Ah, oh, just barely. Hmm, no one's pushing this way yet. I'm just afraid someone is going to come up and help Cupid here. I really don't want to push too far up. Without some kind of confirmation. Alright, there's some damage on Cupid. Uh, Odin looks like he's gonna tank this tower. Oh well. Alright, I gotta pull back. Slow down. What? You gotta be kidding. Oh my god. Oh, I take so much damage. For a god that uses his own health as damage, I don't have enough health to freaking <laughs> to do it. I freaking die at the drop of a hat here. I think I definitely need some defenses. I, I think that's what it's coming down to. Uh, I am taking a bunch of magical, I think. I don't know. Physical, magical. Mag yeah, they've got more magical than anything. they got some really strong physical as well. Oh, man. We are losing uh, these fights now. They are catching up. Uh, they are just fighting much better as a team. We are just not, we just don't have the team fight capabilities, it looks like. Um, I haven't been able to utilize my ultimate at all for like the last uh, 20 minutes, it feels like. And that Kronos is really the linchpin of this team, I think. He's just doing all the stuns and taking them all out. Oh, well, this makes sense. No wonder we're getting uh, ass kicked in team fights. One, two, three. So I've got a three man team on the enemy team. Great. That's what I'm dealing with? No wonder I'm getting my ass kicked. Ah. All right, enemy team on the left hand side.
Left Phoenix is down. Alright, someone's in my threshold. Damn it, I can't catch up. Really? Oh my god. You know, I knew that was pr I was probably going to have a bad fight there, but I didn't think he would do that much damage to me so quickly. I don't like Kronos. I do not like Kronos. The ability to juke even melee characters on top of uh, the attack speed he has. Oh my god. I, I enjoy playing him, but that's seriously... Uh, no. No. I mean, if they can get his gameplay to work where he doesn't nuke like a bastard with that kind of attack speed, maybe. Usually I find that most characters that do fast attack speed are offset by lower damage so that they have more kind of a sustained DPS rather than a burst. And when it comes to Kronos, he's just bursty the entire time. And with a cooldown build, he can keep that up all the time. So, yeah, I don't know. I'm just not feeling Kronos. Not, not feeling him as terribly balanced, but... That's okay. Again, I also have no defenses at present. Alright. Uh, Alright, I'll guard the left-hand side. Someone is weak. I could go and try and help and kill, but no, I will. Oh man, this is painful. See, the, the a problem is really the, the the problem is the communication factor. The enemy team is a three-man team. You can be guaranteed, well, maybe not guaranteed, but you can you can pretty much bet that they probably have voice communications. They're working well together. They're timing, you know, they're timing their abilities. They're commu They they know when we're doing stuff. Whereas our team really just doesn't have that, you know. And I don't expect that. Unfortunately, these are the perils of solo queue. I can't really... Uh, I'm, I'm kind of dependent on my team, because chances are we have a three-man team... ...on our team. But it just doesn't seem like they're communicating very well either. Um, I should probably go and help the right. I've pushed this lane back. Let me... Um oh, man. No, nope, there's Cupid. Cupid I can pretty much deal with. It's just that that sucks. So I got ganked by Kali. Cupid really wasn't the threat. I haven't I've been dealing with Cupid. But of course, the enemy team comes up, takes me out. No one mentions it. I have no idea they're coming. So... Yeah, I mean, here we are at a near deicide situation again. I'm ready to surrender. I think the enemy team just has it. We have the superior players. They have the superior teamwork. I mean, if you look at the kills that have existed throughout the game, we've been ahead on... For most of the game, we were ahead on farm. We were ahead on kills. We were ahead on pretty much everything. So, honestly, I can't feel bad about that match. I was ahead on my kill death ratio until the end where the team fights just constantly consisted of them ganking me over and over again and again I, I had no chance to use my ultimate we just weren't doing the damage we couldn't get anyone below 40 percent and if they did they were killing them i pretty much got screwed by that one i mean you look at my kdr it's 8 and 12 now it was better before so i don't feel bad about how i did again it's just one of those perils of they have the teamwork and communication we don't. So so uh, I went and verified since it killed my recording when I switched. They are a three-man team versus a team of solo. Every single one of us is a solo player. So we basically got pub stomped. I can't feel bad about that. I cannot feel bad about that. I mean, really, I worked with what I was given. And I feel I performed adequately given what I had. You know, it, it, it's one of those things where you have to admit it was a good game because it went back and forth quite a bit. And even though at times it seemed like we were behind, we were ahead. And ultimately, what won it was the teamwork. It was, if we had their teamwork, we could have beat them. 
just because our team outperformed their team at almost every level as on an individual basis. If you look at it, right now the kills show that they had more kills, but we had more kills for the most part. And if you look at our assists, we have more assists, which means we actually had players helping each other out more, despite the fact we didn't have communication. So, well, props to them. They did well. They did well. But I, I'm hoping to not get my ass ganked as often. But hey, I kind of like uh, Thanatos. The, the downside, again, is I feel maybe he's a little squishy. Uh, for a god that uses his own health as damage, I was dying very quickly. Uh, if I'm going to be using my health as a damage yeah. mechanic... Now, it's not a lot. Maybe what they've been doing is they've been reducing the amount of health that is taken from his abilities. Maybe what they should do is just increase his health and make it so that his abilities take more health again or something like that. I don't know. Ultimately, though, uh, on the Kronos thing, now that I've seen what he's capable of and some... Gee, oh, my God. Just the damage, the raw damage he can put out. If he lands that stun, you're gone, and you just can't deal with it. I wonder. They haven't done anything to him, so they probably feel he's in a good spot, but I, I definitely am curious about that. I see a lot of Kronos in matches now, which usually when a god is known to be very powerful, you see him a lot. So I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to say one way or the other. These are just my observations. I have played Kronos. I enjoy Kronos. But... Yeah, you know, being on that receiving end and seeing what he can do and wondering if there's a counter sometimes. Oh, well. Ladies and gentlemen, that wasn't a bad match. I kind of enjoyed Thanatos there. So uh, hopefully it was uh, enjoyable to watch. Uh, so thank you, and uh, I'll see you next time.